NFL, there are seven coaching openings for, for fired coaches at this point. You've got the Bears. You've got the Broncos. You've got the Raiders. You've got the Dolphins, the Jags, the Vikes, the Giants. In a year, we didn't think many people would get fired. So I'm going to rate each one of these jobs. I'm going to give them a grade. We've got the Bears. They've got a head coach and general manager open because Ryan Pace was fired along with Matt Nagy. Here's my five criteria. You got your quarterback. You have the rest of the roster. You want to decouple those. Your organizational stability, what they're willing to provide, the city that you're in, and the division that you're in. Because who are you going to be playing six of those games out of your 17? You got the Bears. We'll start with them. Quarterback, Justin Fields, you drafted him high. Played all right this year. Some good, some bad. Didn't have a ton of weapons. I give the quarterback grade there, B, B minus. Ro rest of the roster, defense is really good. They're getting aging. They're injured. You know, if Allen Robinson walks out that door, I'm not sure what else they have as far as, you know, offensively to really scare people. Offensive line eh, is okay. The rest of the roster, I'm probably giving a C, probably a C, maybe a C plus, but most likely a C. I'm even maybe leaning towards C. I'm going to go C minus, C, C minus, somewhere in there. Organization, houses, they're proud. The McCaskies, they want to try to get it right. They want to win. I don't think they spend enough money. They're trying to get a new stadium. That's going to be done here eventually. Will a new coach be around to see that? New general manager? I don't know. Organization, I'd have to give a C minus, probably a D plus with how they've operated. It's a Bears town. It's a, one of the biggest cities in the country. It's a football region and it just doesn't seem like they've been able to compete and there's no reason for it the city chicago i'm giving it a b plus a minus b plus people love chicago they like to play their division i'm gonna have to probably give that a c you have aaron Rodgers there for probably at least another two years three as we've seen now coaches a lot of times they don't last that long they probably won't last maybe outlast aaron Rodgers. if that's the case it doesn't matter but the vikings they've got term uh, coaching turnover as well. Lions look to potentially be on the come up. They get their quarterback situation figured out. It looks like Dan Campbell's got them pointed in the right direction. So division, I'll give them a C. Then we've got the Vikes. Head coach, general manager, Zimmer, Spiels, out. Quarterback situation. I'm going to give it a B minus. Maybe a C plus. Kirk Cousins, big, big cap number next year. He's been good, but he's never been great. Not elite. He's touched greatness from time to time, but never consistently enough. Rest of the roster, they've got some weapons. You know, Justin Jefferson, Thielen, when he's healthy, um, you know, they're able to run the football. They have everything. Dalvin Cook, everything you want. Defense is aging a little bit. Rest of the roster, I'm going to give a, a B plus, maybe even almost A minus, B plus, A minus. Organization, the Wilfs, they're going to spend money. They want to win. Great new facilities. They're pretty stable. They don't get involved in things. City. I think Twin Cities is nice. Guys like living there. It's a good, good environment, good football community. They show up, they support their fans. We give the city, you know, B plus, A minus. Division, you got to go with the C for the same reason with the Bears. You've got the Night King, Aaron Rodgers in there. That's tough. Broncos, right? They move on from Vic Fangio. Let's take a look. Quarterback, you don't know. Have no idea. Drew Locke, he's not the answer. Teddy Bridgewater, he could potentially be a transition guy for you. Quarterback situation is a D for the Broncos. Rest of the roster, got some pretty good receivers. They've kind of retooled that defense. I think they're fairly solid everywhere else. I'd give the rest of the roster a B minus, maybe even a B. Pretty good spot. Organization, got some ownership stuff they've got to figure out yeah, ever since Pat Bowlen passed away. John Elway appears to kind of be a stabilizing force over there for him. We have the organization a B. City, Denver, sunny all the time. Fans show up. They love the game. They're going there. They're showing up at mile high. They support the team. I'm going to give the city, a, let's give Denver an A-. It's football city. It's a great place to live. Division, this is rough. I'm giving the division a D because you're going to have to go in. Justin Herbert. You've got Derek Carr, assuming he stays there, and Pat Mahomes. You have three other teams with quarterbacks that look to be solidified and look to be pretty good. Two other playoff teams in here. Chargers should have probably got in. It's a daunting division, given that I'm giving that situation a, uh, a D. Raiders looking for a head coach, potentially. Who knows if they decide to stay with what they have. But quarterback, we give Derek Carr B plus, A minus. He's been good this year. 
been good. Had some ups and downs, but given the situation, been very solid. Rest of the roster, ah, not great. Mike Mayock and John Gruden, you know, they've missed on some draft picks. D-line's pretty good. You know, secondary, ah, it's okay. They've had some injuries. Outside of Waller, really, who are the big-time explosive playmakers on offense? Jacobs is good. Um, rest of the roster, I'll give a B-minus to. Organization, Mark Davis, I think, wants to win. I think they're going to have some money from being in Vegas. You know, it, I don't think it's, there's a lot of stability there. I'll give the organization, you know, probably a, a flat C, maybe a C minus. Could be trending green arrow up, depending if Mike Mayock's there and how they're able to stabilize everything uh, with the rest of the organization. Um, goodness, City, Vegas, I'm going to give it an A minus only because the same reason I give Miami an A minus. There's a lot of guys that would love to play there. There's some guys that should probably never play there. And so you're going to be able to attract free agents. I think the people are beginning to show up. You've got Raider Nation. They're pretty loyal. And for a new city, new market, I think it's been, they've done a fantastic job. Division, my goodness, you got to give it a D. You've got Derek Carr, but it's a tough division. Teams are loaded in there. Miami Dolphins, look at what they've been able to do. Nine and eight, fire Brian Flores. <laughs> Explosion. Doesn't make any sense. He did spin through a number of offensive coordinators. There was coaching instability. But for someone who traded, an organization who traded away all of their, not all, but most of their elite talent early in his tenure to get draft picks, begin to develop a little bit well, a little better. Tua didn't look like he was the answer. He had the hip injury obviously coming out. This season, he got progressively better. He looks like he could be the answer right now. So we'll start with quarterback. Tua, I'm going to give him a B minus. C plus probably trending into B minus later this year. And you know what? I might even bump that to the B because if you're willing to, I think you're the preferred destination for Deshaun Watson. So if you're willing to give up assets, you can get him. So your quarterback situation may not be as bad as you think. Tua played a lot better. It's going to help his trade value if you want to go for Watson. If not, you feel like you're getting in a better spot. The rest of the roster, pretty darn good. Waddle was good. The defense was very good most of this year. Um, you got Gusecki, like there's a lot of pieces there that you can build with. It's how they were able to go nine and eight down the stretch. I, I would give the rest of the rest of the roster a nice B organization. You don't really have many fans that show up in Miami. That's part of the problem. Steven Ross spends money. They're willing to you know do it. They've got upgrading the stadium. They continue to do things. Steven Ross, he doesn't, he's not out in front a lot, but he does talk. It's probably more than some owners would like. So that's not maybe the greatest thing in the world. Um, I'm going to give the organization a C, maybe a C plus, because I think they, they want to do it right. They're just struggling to find the right way. And then uh, City, same reason as Vegas, A minus. Guys love Miami. Miami doesn't love everybody. You can't have everyone living there. Some guys were not meant to play in that environment. And then their division, you got to give it probably a C minus. Buffalo looks really good with, jo uh, with Josh Allen moving forward. Seem to be set up to be able to win for the future. You have the Patriots with Mac Jones. They're always there. And then you got the Jets. So cobbling together wins is going to be difficult always in that division, especially with the lone Southern team going up North during the later months of the season is always tumultuous. So for the division, I, I probably give it a C minus. Another Florida team, Jags, Jacksonville uh, quarterback, Trevor Lawrence, probably BB minus. Looked pretty good towards the end of the season. You didn't really see that growth that you want to see. They got a big win versus the Colts, but everybody still views him as an elite talent, and you can't win without a quarterback. And so I think a lot of people would love to draft Kev Trevor Lawrence if he was the guy first overall this year. Unfortunately for them, he's not. He's already in Jacksonville. So they've got a quarterback situation of one that's like BB minus, but green arrow hopefully trending vertically going up.